amount of people may be watching the news conference. Good morning, Barbara, Shirley, Juana, Jim. Good morning. Good morning, Libby. Darrow, Good morning, Carlos, Lisa, Catherine, Mike. Good morning, Anita, from far away. Good morning, Lisa, Annette. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning, Ta Tony. Good morning, Robin, George, Angela, Marcella, Gerard, Mary. Good morning, William. Good morning, Livia. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Antonius, Mark. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, James. Good morning to all. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Eucharist, um, Eucharist uh, celebration on uh, Tuesday after the fifth Sunday of Easter. And uh, today, one more time, we um, we give our intention to the Mother's Day Novima, Novena. We also remember uh, Domingo uh, Empalmado as uh, he celebrates the 76 years old birthday today. So with that in mind, let us begin our Mass as we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for this sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people cause in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever amen a reading from the act of, of the Apostles on those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. 
On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Debe. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and met a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhausted them to persevere in the faith, saying, It is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. We appointed presbyters for them in each church, and with prayer and fasting, commanded them to the Lord, in whom they have put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pampilia. After proclaiming the word at Pega, they went down to Atalia. From there, they sailed to Antioch where they have been commanded to the grace of God for the work they have now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God has done for, with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent li no little time with the disciple. The response to song is the the words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm is, Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of the kingdom. Let all your words give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your mind. Your friends proclaim the glorious kingdom of the Lord. Making known to men your, your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom of all ages, and your dominions endure through all generations. Your friends claim the glorious kingdom of the Lord. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may our flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Friends proclaim the glorious kingdom of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ has to suffer and to rise from the dead and so enter into his glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, not as the words give do I give as to you. Not, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me, me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father. For the Father is greater than I, and now I have told you this before it happened, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, but the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After reading the first reading, uh, the first reading uh, regarding to Saint Paul, and then applying to the peace that Jesus just mentioned in the gospel, I just, um, I have some thought in my mind. Sometimes we always pray that we always um, pray for a peace that we just run away from the problem, that all the problem around us can be destroyed and that we do not have any opportunity to face with the problem. But perhaps the peace that God just promised us it's a peace that when we face with the problem, we still remain in peace. That we may face with all the problems and try to overcome them. Stand up over the problem and try to deal with them with the peace that God, that God, had, God gave us. The peace that Jesus already had throughout his passion, throughout his death and resurrection. The peace that no matter what happened, he always with the Father, and um, and no matter what, he always followed the teaching of the Father. 
So let's continue to ask, not only about the, um, the, uh, the time when we face with the problem, but also when we deal with the other problem, stand over the problem and try to pass through all the problem. The peace that God just gives us to us, that no matter what happened around us, we always have God remain in us. Blessed are you, Lord, out of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, this will become for us a breath of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, out of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Must be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us have sacrifice hands for your grace and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your assaulting church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Live of your heart. Come up to the Lord. Like a thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover have been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and in purity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joys, every land, every people as those in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angels' hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave his two disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have house was worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Home we will pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, Timothy, Titan, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. And most on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be called as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with, you, with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, my soul will be healed. He, Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you was pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning to all. Another beautiful sunny day. It's supposed to get a little overcast later today. And we don't have any ducks today, but uh, maybe they'll come back, maybe not. They may have just been a single visit. So today we celebrated uh, St. Paul, and uh, initially he got stoned. He was taken out of the city and stoned. And so a lot of times people would assume that being stoned would be uh, deadly, but obviously he was not. He waited until the some of his helpers came and he looked around and stood up and the next day he took off for another city. He wasn't running away, he was running toward because when he got to the next city he told everybody the message of Jesus. So sometimes uh, life becomes very difficult and the challenge is to always be doing what the will of Jesus is. Obviously the will of for Paul at that moment was not to go back to the other city, but to go to the new one so that he could tell people about the message of Christ. So we are always bringing the message of Christ in our lives, and so please continue to do so. Do so with peace. The Lord, and now let us begin uh, and continue with the prayer of St. Michael the Archangels. St. Michael? The Archangels, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, 
O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, throw us into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the roots of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass send it. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a pleasant day, everybody.